Hi guys, happy Monday. I'm starting another work week in my life vlog. As you can see, I just got ready and now I'm heading out to work. Um, like I said, it's Monday. I don't have any other plans today other than uh, coming home and whatever we're doing for dinner. And I might wanna film another video actually when I get home. I was thinking about doing like a car tour because I know I did like my car shopping vlog, but I haven't done like an in-depth tour of my car yet. So I'm thinking about filming that if I have time. And I've been really off my workout game, so hopefully gonna run after work, but it's supposed to be really hot this week. So if anything, I'll come home and do like an at-home workout. This is usually my setup. I have my fruit that I eat in the morning with my coffee, and then I have my bag with whatever I'm gonna wear to work out, and then my regular um, purse slash work bag. So I'm gonna be heading to work now, and I will talk to you guys soon. So I'm getting my car washed now. Um, I was gonna say it's really loud, but it actually just stopped. Except I'm about to go under the dryer, so it's gonna get loud again. But I left a little bit later than I wanted to from work, uh, just cause I got tied up doing some stuff, but it's no big deal. Um, I just wasn't able to run. I did change, just cause I didn't feel like being in my work clothes anymore. And I knew I was gonna come here and I'm gonna vacuum my car when this is done. Uh, just cause I wanted it to look nice for the video that I'm gonna film. Uh, because it's getting a little bit dirty. It's probably so loud right now. Sorry. Yeah, so it's going through the dryer now I'm gonna go through and vacuum it and then I'll be on the way home I'm gonna try to just do my workout later tonight since I wasn't able to run um, and then hopefully the rest of the week I'll be able to run outside So I just finished filming the intro for the car tour video and I actually did it pretty quick and the sun's still out. So I'm gonna film the portion of obviously like touring my car. Um, and I just realized my like car wash didn't even really do anything. <laughs> There's definitely some like spots on the back still, but whatever. Also, I think this entire video, the white balance has been like really off. So hopefully I can fix it in um, like when I edit, but if it looks like really blue, I'm sorry. I realized that whenever I was uh, filming that portion, so. So I got my workout in. I actually went on a little walk after dinner uh, for maybe like 20, 30 minutes uh, just to kind of like get moving. And I did do my dance workout. I have like a cardio dance playlist that I made last summer. And I used to do it like every single day in the summer and it was so much fun. And I totally just fell off like once I started working and just got super busy. But I was able to do it tonight and it was so worth it. I feel great now, but I'm gonna take a shower because I also feel really gross. I just washed my hair like the night before last, it obviously just gets so fluffy when I brush it out. The color still looks really good though. I got it done right before we took our engagement pictures in April, end of April. So it's been about a month and I just got kind of the blonde, like retouched. And I love it. It's like a perfect tone. And I think I used, well, I definitely know I used the purple shampoo when I washed it the other night. And I hadn't used that, I don't think, since I got it done. I've just been using regular shampoo. And I think the purple shampoo really does help keep like the tone of the blonde. My legs also feel so gross because I got the worst sunburn I think of my entire life last weekend, last last weekend. Yeah, and I'm like still peeling. Well, I just started peeling like the past few days, but it's like, ugh, it's like even gross to talk about, but it's getting like bubbly and like there's like moisture in my, under my skin. I'm like, it feels so gross, but I'm hoping all that will come off soon. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower and get in bed and go to sleep. It's like 11.20 now, so it's not too, too late. Um, but other than like 2 a.m. when I usually stay up sometimes. Actually, no, that I've gotten like more used to my work schedule. I don't sleep that late, or I don't stay up that late. But yeah, I don't know if I'll, I might do like a little montage as I'm getting ready for bed, but if not, I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow. So I'm heading out for work. Um, I didn't show my outfit yesterday. It was just really basic. I was wearing like a sweater and jeans. Um, but today my top is from Express, just this like sheer, kind of a button-up shirt. Pants are from Zara. They're kind of like a nicer uh, houndstooth print kind of dress pant. And then my nude mule sandals from Forever 21. It's actually a really cute outfit. I've never worn this. So I'm about to head out to work and then I'm going to John's later tonight and I will talk to you guys then. So I'm out of work now. It's actually a little bit later. It's 6.15 and I'm still gonna run and then go to John's house and then we're going to go to the gym. So staying on the workout grind, trying to, but even though it's a little bit later, I'm still gonna go because that actually gives time for the gym to get a little bit less busy. It's always super busy at like five, six-ish. So this will give it some time because we'll probably be getting there 
like 7 30 ish maybe it is supposed to be really hot outside so i'm hoping i don't die but we'll see how it goes even if i cut it short it's whatever slight change of plans chipotle and sushi and no gym but that's okay it happens i end up getting here like late where we felt like it was gonna take forever because it's right now it's still almost nine o'clock well then how would that have i don't know if we had went to the gym we probably would have cooked so it might have been like around the same time but we just like didn't feel like it and i feel okay because i actually did my running and my dance yesterday so it's not that bad i don't even know if i told you that did you know i did my dance Oh my goodness, I have your watch. True. So John got Chipotle. Ugh, I'm gonna be jealous of it. I can already tell. On any other day of my life, I would have definitely gotten Chipotle. It's like my favorite. But today for lunch, I had from Trader Joe's like a frozen dinner that was like the Cuban style chicken and rice, which I'm like, it's so similar to Chipotle. So I didn't want to get that again. Ugh, even though it's my favorite, I'm jealous. But Neither. I've been craving sushi. I haven't had it in a while and I keep seeing people post pictures of it and I want some so that's what I got. We're gonna watch The Voice because Kenzie Wheeler is from our hometown and he's like about to win the finals. Yeah so it's really cool because everyone from our town is like excited that he's about to win The Voice. I think he's gonna win. So we're gonna watch that and we're behind on um, This Is Us. That's like the show we watch but we're probably not gonna be able to catch up for tonight's episode. So, we'll see. Come up with your food. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, so excited. Yeah, see, there's salmon roll, they give you eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Usually it's like six. This is gonna be way too much, honestly, but he eats some of this, so that'll be a fun combination. Um, Chipotle and sushi. I'm so excited. This is like, Crab and shrimp, I think, asparagus. Oh, it's so yummy. back home it's thursday it's not thursday it's wednesday i've been so all over the place i've been feeling like it's like friday like every single day but i just got home it's actually 9 30 so i'm definitely home later than usual it's because i went to dinner with my friend anna um i didn't like vlog at all today i think i might have taken a clip this morning but i just had like a super busy day at work um it was actually really productive we just have like some big projects right now and i was able to get a lot accomplished so i'm really happy about that and yeah, I just went to a Cheesecake Factory with my friend because she's actually about to be moving. So I'm not gonna be able to see her as much. Uh, I think we went to dinner last week and we decided to go again this week so I could see her again. But I just have some stuff I need to go through before taking a shower. I do just wanna like hop in the shower like as soon as I can and then um, kind of just chill for the rest of the night because I will probably start editing the video that I filmed earlier in this vlog, my car tour. I wanna be able to like edit that and get it up. So I'm just gonna like put my stuff away go ahead and take a shower. I thought about doing like my dance workout again tonight, but I'm like, I just ate Cheesecake Factory and all that bread and I had pasta. So I'm like feeling really bloated and gross, which is why obviously working out would help me, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Even though we didn't go to the gym yesterday. So that was actually a fail too. But like I said, I was able to get in a good run and I'm glad I actually did my dance. What was it? Monday? I was able to actually do that and it felt really good. So I definitely want to continue doing that again. Probably just won't get to it this week because tomorrow I would think I would want to run again before going to John's and then we'll hopefully make it to the gym tomorrow. And then Friday we're actually leaving it to go visit my big and her boyfriend in Fort Myers because they live there now and we wanted to go see them for the weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend so we actually will have Monday off. I think we're only staying till Sunday though. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to pack because if I go to John's tomorrow 
I just like will try and get home at a decent time tomorrow so I can like pack tomorrow night and then I'll take everything to work with me on Friday and um, we'll just leave from there after work. So I have to get up pretty early tomorrow. I have an orthopedic appointment at eight. So I have to get up at like 6.30ish to probably get there in time. Um, for my toe that's been like broken for what, nine months now? I felt like it totally healed after what, like the six weeks you're supposed to like tape it and it's supposed to like heal like almost by itself. And it felt great and normal. And then there was like one day I just like s took a step and I felt it like move or something. Like it just felt like super off. I didn't like jump on it or anything. I just like the way I stepped in the morning, I remember it like I there was a feeling where I was like, oh my gosh, did something just like move out of place. And that was like a few months ago, weeks ago, probably just like a couple months ago. And I just kept taping it since then. Um, since I hadn't been taping it for a while, I thought it was healed. And now I'm like, okay, well it feels off. So I've been trying to like tape it and keep it in place. But I don't know, just when I look at it and it like looks kind of off. So I'm just gonna go to the orthopedic in the morning and see what they say about it and just have somebody else look at it because it's been since like September. So I have that in the morning, which is gonna get me up early. But then again, I wanna like try and get in bed kind of somewhat early, but we'll see if that actually happens. I'm just like not a morning person. I realistically like to start getting to work at like 8.30, like on a regular day, but that doesn't always happen. It's more like nine, between nine and 10 I usually shot. So I wanna like slowly start getting used to getting up early anyway. So it'll be good for me to get up closer to six because I usually get up, my alarm goes off at seven and then I don't get up till like 7.45, eight sometimes. <laughs> and then I'm out the door in like less than an hour and then I get to work in like 20 minutes. So as long as I have like an hour and a half between like waking up and when I want to be at work. So if I start actually getting up at seven, then that usually will get me there around 8.30. That's just the thing though. I have to actually get up at seven. And to some people that probably seems like not early at all, but like I said, I'm not really a morning person, but trying to get better at it. So yeah, I think tomorrow I'll probably get up at, I guess six to be safe. Well, I don't know. I'm not doing my hair or anything. I'm like, this tomorrow's the last day before I wash my hair. So I'm just gonna like put it up in a claw clip, I think. So I can probably get up at like 6.30, as long as I leave by 7.20, even though it's only like 20 minutes away, I wouldn't be able to be there kind of early. So I'll probably leave by like 7.20, get up at like 6.30, that should be fun. But yeah, so I want to just kind of uh, take a shower, get in bed and chill, even though I should work out and make me feel better, but it's already too late at this point and I actually should maybe start getting together what I might take with me this weekend. <laughs> I just parked at work. Um, I got back from my appointment and it went well. I mean, essentially I paid a copay to for them to tell me that everything looked perfectly fine. But then again, that really was the goal to just confirm that everything's healing correctly. Um, yeah, so they did another x-ray and he said like he could tell where it was essentially, where the break happened, but that there's no other crack and it's not like still broken. Um, I guess like, well, he said it looked perfect. Those were his words. So, I mean, I didn't specifically specify like does it look crooked or anything but he said everything looked good like even if it wasn't broken again i didn't know if it was like going the wrong way but sometimes that just happens when you break a bone or especially a toe it might just grow back a little bit different but he said it's good that i've been taking some more precautions now that i know and just continuing it to tape it and stuff and make sure that it's stable so i'm just gonna keep doing that and hopefully it'll get a little bit more comfortable soon um he said it might just take time so i was able to get there and done it's 8 50 and i just parked so it didn't take long at all since my appointment was at eight and i'm actually like glad that i was able to get up early and start my day because having like a reason to get up will always make me get up early and then i just always feel better when i do have an earlier start so yeah, i get to start my work day early and i will pick up the vlog after work well today did not go as planned it's definitely later now it's 10 40 and i think i didn't i haven't vlogged since like right before i got to work so instead of going to john's well instead of running i actually had to stay pretty late at work today just because we're finishing up some big, big projects but i'm glad i was able to um get stuff done and um i'll probably be able to work like five hours tomorrow so i'll have a shorter friday but i did end up having to stay up for a little bit i don't think i left till like 6 30 ish 
Um, so yeah, I had decided I wasn't gonna run anymore and the plan was to go to John's house and we would go to the gym, but that also didn't happen. So this is definitely a fail week for the gym, but it happens. And it's actually cause I suggested to all my family that we get together and have dinner just cause we're gonna be gone for the weekend and I wanted to see everybody cause we usually spend the weekends together. But um, since we'll be gone, I wanted to see them tonight. So we went to my sister's house and I had dinner there and I am at home now. John came over for a little bit and then he left cause I have like so much to do to get ready. Um, I want to try and start packing tonight, but like I said, I can go in late tomorrow and leave early. So I might get some stuff done in the morning, but I have to do laundry. So I'm going to do that now and, um, take a shower and I'll see if I'm going to pack anything tonight or if I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. I really would like to work out. I don't know if I would have the ability or motivation to wake up early enough to do that and then like shower and get ready and then go to work. Um, since I do have like a shorter day, I could do that. But I just feel so gross and I hate not being on my routine. But it's just one of those weeks and like I said, it happens. And it was more important that I spent time with family today. And I didn't want to like worry about having to go like like beat myself up about not working out. So yeah, that's the situation. Um, Like I said, I'm going to do my laundry now. Get that going. Even though it's like already 11 o'clock. I'm not going to be done until like midnight or maybe like 1. But it's just how it goes. <laughs> So it's Friday morning now. I was able to pack the majority of my stuff last night and I just finished up this morning. It's about 10.45 and I'm about to leave for work. Like I said, I was able to come in a little bit late today and I think I can still leave like at a normal time um, just so I can be at John's in time for enough, for, with enough time for us to go to dinner. I think our reservations are at like eight. We're gonna go to like an Italian place once we get down to visit our friends. I think I'm actually still gonna run to Starbucks because I always make my own coffee in the morning and I've just been like wanting a treat. So I think I still have time for that and I'm just gonna pack up all my stuff and I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.